Are we live? Are we live? We are live. Hello, I Facebook. The, I see the little red light on. The so red, that means we're it live. It says live. So hi, right everybody. There. Live, right there. Hi, everybody. This is Lynn from Cotton Art Studio. And um, I know I promised I would bring Mike on because you guys wanted to see more Mike videos. And the thing is, we didn't realize we had to get permission from YouTube to go live. So we're going live in Facebook. But we'll post this to YouTube when we're done. Technical um, snafu. Yeah, they have. The, you have to wait 24 hours. Once we're like, oh, go live in YouTube, and they're like, yeah. No, you have to wait so, 24 hours. Yeah. So there it is. Haven't been so, live there yet. So we're live here now. We will. We will do that in the future. We will plan to yeah. do that in the future. So anyway, we're here. We're gonna answer questions. I don't know how many people are gonna join us, but we're gonna answer questions. Yeah. Um, and if I keep looking down, don't mind me. I'm kind of driving. Yeah, over there. he's driving the computer, so, so I just need to make sure he can ask the questions. Oh, it says the current frame rate is too low. Please set the frame rate 15 to 60. Okay, how do I do that, Facebook? I don't I, know. I don't. I don't know either. I think you'll be fine. Well, I don't know. So anyway, um. So we're waiting for people to join us live. So I brought... How does it look? How does it sound? Be sure to let us know in the comments because I have no idea. Yeah, we're going to need help on the comment yeah. kind of thing. Um, hey, Brenda. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Brenda. How you doing? So, how, do we, how do we sound? <laughs> Are we live? Do we sound good? <laughs> nope. So I brought... Um, someone gave me this game. It's called Hell Well, Do You Know Me? And I thought I would... Um, ask Mike these questions on how well he knows me. Oh, or should wait, I so ask you how well you know me oh. <laughs> since it's a getting to know Mike? It's a getting to know Mike. Well, I'll ask, you know, we'll both answer him. All right, all right, all right. You look fine from our end. Yay, okay. we're fine. All right. Okay, so um, the first one, this should not be hard. This no, first okay, one. Okay, what's the first one? Do I drink coffee or tea? And if so, how do I take it? Tea, unsweet, cold. Yep. On ice. Yep, that's true. Every day. Yep. In fact, I have my Outlander mug right here with iced tea in it. Word. Word. Because today is Outlander's final episode for the season. And it's been a short season if you're an Outlander fan. So, But we're watching it today. It's going to be tough, though, because we've been watching um, Ozark, Ozark as Woo! well. What a train wreck. Oh, man. And it's crazy because I, I don't know if people know this or not, but... Ozark was literally filmed right, right behind. around the corner there. I mean, yep. several shots, especially in the first and second season, were filmed around us. Um, so it's kind of we li we drive by the Blue Cat Lodge on a daily basis. Yeah, we do, and that and was from actually, seasons one and two. One and two, basically. Yeah. yeah, I think after three, they were done with the Blue Cat Lodge. Yes. So, but it's yes. now a barbecue joint. It is, and it's got good barbecue. We mm, know it's the It's very owner. tasty, yeah. Very tasty. Very tasty. Love their barbecue. Um, so that's always good. Brenda said she missed you so much. Oh, I'm glad we're back. I'm glad I'm back doing stuff. It took a while. And and then, right as I was getting in the groove of things, I got sick. Yeah, so, it was bad. That was bad. Mike took great care of it me, It was though. bad. Yeah. Okay, so I will answer the question for Mike. He drinks tea if he drinks tea he does not drink anything hot um, no hot drinks. he doesn't drink coffee he doesn't drink hot chocolate he doesn't drink any of that so and if he drinks tea it's usually unsweet like me yeah and if it's a soda it's like diet coke yeah so no sugar here where we do yeah we're i don't drink calories like i no. just like if i'm gonna have calories it's gonna, gonna eat be them, like baby. pie or cake or something good yeah not absolutely just, not just something okay um, what's next yeah, find a good one. I know. Oh. Spiders, snakes, or bees, which do I like least? S probably a tie with spiders and snakes. Ooh, snakes would win. I think I don't like Snakes would win? Yeah. I know I've killed my fair share of spiders. I know. I yeah. am the spider hunter. <laughs> yeah, he's the bug hunter in the house. Yeah. In fact, you were hunting them yesterday. Actually, you find them. I know. And I'm I kill like, them. They're right there. Yeah. Get rid of them. Right. Yeah, that's how that works. Yeah. Right? With me, I don't know. Probably snakes. Yeah. yeah. So let's talk about what what we both do. Like, because okay. I think people will be interested in that. Right, so right. Um, we've been married for how long have we been? <laughs> you so bad. You know this. 27 years. This year. This year. This year. 27 years. 
Yeah. Yep. Yeah, but we met when we were babies. That's a fun story. <laughs> we met when we were four and six months old on a ping pong table. Yep. And Probably our in parents. Gatlinburg, we're thinking. Yeah, Gatlinburg. Or Land or Between the Lakes, one of those places. Severeville. No, no, it wasn't Land Between the Lakes. It was definitely Gatlinburg. It was Gatlinburg or okay. Severeville. Yeah. Not Severville. Not Severville, no. Severville. No, you will get if you're from excoriated on Twitter if you call it Severville. Yeah. Um, so both our parents, are both our fathers, work for Tennessee Valley Authority, and they were at some meeting, and so his parents had a kid, yeah, my just, parents had a kid. Saying, Brent, Brenda said, we need a cat that kill bugs. Our dogs oh, kill cats. <laughs> this is such so, a bad story. That's a bad story. That is a bad story. Yeah, unfortunately. Well, yeah. get back to the marriage thing. And then yeah, we'll that's better. It's, the, <laughs> it, ends, yeah. it ends happier. Yeah. That was... So, uh, yeah, the y'all know we got two new puppies um, once we lost Josie. Oh, you may not know this. So uh, we lost Josie yeah. um, last sad year. Sad to see her go. It was so sad. Last, it was in December of last year. Yep. And uh, so we had gotten two new puppies after um, Giacomo died. And so now we have, we just have two Salukis, not three. Um, you've seen them on, I've posted tons of videos and stuff of them online. Miss Phoebe and Mr. Finn are entertaining us now. So, anyway, but yeah, we met when we were six and four months old. And um, <laughs> his mom and dad, or his dad worked for TVA. My dad worked for TVA. And they all knew each other. And so they got together and showed off their children to each other. And so they found pictures after we got engaged, our parents found pictures on both sides. Like yeah. his mom and dad found a set of pictures, and my mom found a set of pictures of Mike and I as children sitting on a ping pong table. And we didn't know that existed until after we were engaged. Yeah, they, they printed it out on our name tags. Yeah, for the at the wedding. Dinner. Yeah, at the rehearsal. Dinner. <laughs> so that was kind of cool. Was, it was weird because everybody was walking around with baby pictures of Mike and I together. Yeah. So. But we didn't see each other for like 26 years later. Right. So yeah. then we met and his mom asked me to dinner at their house. And yep. she said, um, well, my son's in town. And oh, oh, oh. So, we met, so, so our first meeting after the baby meeting was at his parents' house. And we had dinner at his parents' house. So that's what happened. And yeah. then... He asked me out to to go see a movie. We went to go see Forrest Gump. And I said, I want to see Forrest Gump. So our first date was Forrest Gump. Yep. So. And the rest is history. And the rest is 27. We were engaged by December and yeah. married by August and bought well, a and house. And then we met in September. We was... met in September, engaged by December. Yeah. Married in August. Because I was teaching summer school, so I only had that week off. It was a whirlwind. To go to a honeymoon. Bought a house the week before we got married. Yeah. I know this says too low FPS, but I wish this Just thing would. It. Well, it's in the way. Okay. Well. And I can't move it. Maybe if I learn more, we'll be able to know. turn that off. So, anyway. Know. All right. So, what's the last book you read? The last book I read? Yeah. What was the last book I read? It was a Tom Clancy book, wasn't it? Uh, He's a big Tom Clancy fan. He reads all those. Yeah, books. I think it was. I can't remember the name of it off my head. I've only read, I don't know, 30 or 40 of those things now. <laughs> or whatever number they're on. We're I both think. readers, so yeah. we both we both read. I read a little bit more than he does, but I have more time. Yeah. So we both work from home, like I sew, and he does computer programming. Yeah, I do computer. I, I, I'm a composer trapped in the body of a computer developer. Is basically yeah. what I tell everybody. So my degree is in electronic music composition. You know what? Wait, you have not written, like, he's the one who wrote the music that was the intro music for The Stitch. Yeah. And so you haven't written any music for the new show. You haven't requested that. Well, I officially request that. All right. As of today. Then I will May 1st. officially write something. When do I get it? Like soon? I don't have to buy a banjo for Cotton Art Studio, I think. No. <laughs> no banjo no, music? No banjo music. No banjo music. We live in Georgia. That's a bad idea. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Yeah. So, anyway. 
All right, so uh, what book I read, I'm listening to the Tell the Bees I'm Gone, the Outlander book. That's the one I'm listening to right now. Um, have I Ever Broken Any Bones? Um, I know you busted your Achilles, but that's not a bone. No, it's a tendon. Yeah, and it not, means you can't point your toe. Not that I had I'm to aware learn of. to point my toe again. Have I ever broken any bones? I, no, you have not. Not since we've been married. You broke a bone before we were married? I had a, I broke my nose. Oh, that's right. Water skiing. I knew that. I knew yeah, that. And I broke a finger. <gasps> fractured a finger. That does, does fracturing count? Yeah, I think so. Okay. It hurt. <laughs> I couldn't couldn't play guitar for a long time. <laughs> Oh, oh that's true. So he plays guitar, bass, keyboard. Keyboards. I'm proficient in keyboards. You have to pass a proficiency I, in music school, and I was proficient. I, um, and I got a C. C stands for commencement. Isn't that how it works? Yeah, yeah it does. that's how it works. I play, I can play the flute and piccolo. I did play the oboe, but I probably couldn't play that right now. That's a hard one. It is hard. Yeah. I had that. Uh, yeah. The reed's really small. Yeah. I, I don't do that anymore. So yeah. Okay, what Let's, accomplishment am I most proud of? That's I don't even know that I know the answer to that. Wow. I would think marry me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it. I'm glad you came up with that. That works, yes. Yeah, I don't know what, your master's degree maybe? Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess. I mean... You persevered long enough to get through that. I know, yeah. That's about I think, what it is honestly, at that point. I think school, I used to teach college. I taught college for a while. And I think that to get through college, you just kind of have to keep going yeah, until they give you something. Put your head down and swim. Yeah, exactly. That was my mom's favorite saying. Do a lot of crap that you don't want to do. <laughs> that was my mother's favorite saying. Put your head down and swim. <laughs> so, if you're not a swimmer, if you. This is, I'll, and now I have to explain her saying. So if you put your head down, your body comes up and you will float. But if you lift your head up, you have Tennessee a tendency, you will sink. If so, you don't know how to tread water. Yeah, if you don't know how to tread water. Yeah. So if you put down, your, put your head down and swim, you, you will survive. <laughs> it helps. Like, and yeah. she, so she would, she would say that to me because we were, I don't remember. I don't remember learning how to swim. I know I you don't, don't either. either. Yeah. I wonder how many other people are like that. Like, I just have always known my mom had us in the water really young and that yeah. kind of stuff. So, yeah. kind of thing. So, but what quilt? Oh, here's, here's, let's get it back to quilting. We're all about quilting. Um, what quilt, what quilt do you think I'm most proud of? Oh, it's wow. It's one they haven't seen. Um... Mm. I'm going to have to show it to him. But it's Castle one Wall seen. Block, maybe? That's a good one. And they have seen, you've seen that one. Because it was all hand-stitched? Yeah, it was all hand-pieced. Oh, and then your, I mean, I love both of your Alice in Wonderland quilts. Yeah. I'm going to do another one. Which some silly lady thought I was embroidery. <laughs> <laughs> she was a judge. A judge at a show. Thought it, I thought I embroidered it. No, it was thread painted. No, it was thread painted. Heard her cussing the whole time. I was not. Okay, most of the time. Uh, no. I don't know what my crowning achievement is other than marrying you. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> that was like, I'm definitely punching above my weight. I know You're that. So, but, uh, I, you know, I, I don't know. Probably graduating college because I hated school. Yeah, you you didn't enjoy it. I really I liked did. college. I liked going. I think I if think I had a had a reset button, I would probably do something a little different back then. Really? Yeah. Well. No. Yeah. Yeah, I'd probably go to somewhere and just study, just guitar, just play guitar. Yep. So that's probably what I would have done. Yep. I'm a yep. session guy or something like that. There you go. Yeah. We would have been living in Nashville. Living in Nashville, We baby. tried to live in Nashville. We tried to move to Nashville. We did, yeah. And we couldn't find times, jobs. But <laughs> he couldn't find out. a job. Didn't work out. There, so. Yep. All right, next question. He ended up in Atlanta. Next. Next question. question. Um, so, uh, wait. Hiya, Sue. Uh, did you finish the New York Beauty? Yes, I did. 
Well, I, it's all pieced. And that's probably the quilt that I'm most proud of right now, right this very minute. Um, it's all pieced. It's a king size quilt. It is not quilted yet. There's two quilts in front of it uh, that I need one on my long iron I need to get done. And honestly, I haven't physically been able to quilt. I have just started sewing this week. And I'm not sewing as long and as much as I'm used to, only because. I am still sore from the shingles, um, so it's kind of still painful. <laughs> so I don't, yeah. I just don't have the stamina to last as long, and I haven't tried quilting yet um, because I know that when I'm gonna custom quilt it to a cardboard piece of, <laughs> I just am, and I knew I, I didn't actually. So the big quilt show is in June here in Atlanta of the guild that I've been involved in for probably 20 years now. And um, I didn't even enter a quilt because the deadline was in the middle of my problems. And so I just didn't even get a quilt entered. So, and I was afraid, cause it's a local quilt show, you can enter some stuff that's not necessarily quilted yet. And I just knew I was so sick. I didn't, I just didn't think I could get it done. And I didn't want to enter a quilt that was, that had a risk of not being done. And I just couldn't do that to them because anytime you don't turn a quilt in, and I've been chair and I've been a part of the judging, so this is really a big deal. Anytime someone says, oh, I'm going to have the quilt ready and it's going to be done and it's going to get to you and it doesn't show up. You know, there's a lot of stuff that goes into preparation for that quilt to be in that show. And so I just, because I ran the show, I knew that. So I just didn't risk it. I didn't enter anything. But yes, the New York Beauty is done. It is huge. I don't even have a picture of the entire quilt. It is so big. It's a king size. It's like 108 by 108. It's ginormous. It's ginormous. But it is stunning. <laughs> I really, and I will say that it is the most complicated quilt I've ever done. I mean, the thread painting and those quilts took hours and hours. This one, I mean, I was spending sometimes eight hours per block just to piece it. And some of the blocks have, you know, like 126 pieces in them. Um, and there's not a repeated fabric at all. The entire quilt is... So like if I did this little triangles, they were all, and used that fabric, the nut fabric was, if it is repeated, it was not meant to be, and I just screwed up. So, but yeah, so it's, I need to have a appraiser look at it when I'm done so I can get it insured because it's that. Kind of unethical to appraise your own quilt. Oh, it? no, no, I, I can't, <laughs> and I wouldn't, and it's completely unethical to appraise any of my quilts. I have to take it to an appraiser. That's not me. Yeah, that's not you. <laughs> that's yeah, not exactly. me. <laughs> so those I would have to, yeah, like go to Paducah or something like that. It so. is a work in progress. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I will show you all. I probably could um, uh, show you some pictures of it. Piece. I know you've seen pieces. Of, you've actually seen every block. Because if you go to my Instagram page, I'm pretty sure every block is on there. If you just scroll back and see them, they're all on there. But to see them all together, it was pretty crazy. What I did, this was kind of interesting. So what I did is I took a picture of every block and then I printed it out. I shrunk it down to, I don't know, like three inches by three inches. And I printed out every picture in color of the blocks. And then I took the blocks and I actually put... Um, I have this in front of me. I took painter's tape, and I put painter's tape on back of the pictures, and I literally laid it out of how I wanted it to look. So I have this miniaturized version of what the whole quilt looks like. When did you do that? Did I miss that? Yeah, you did. So I um, just slept through that one. No, well, so my sister-in-law came over, and we were keeping our new nephew. Oh, and that's right. And when he was sleeping, she's an artist. So I just, I had an artist kind of, another artistic eye looking at it. Yeah. And so we laid it out and like took pictures. So, but it was easier to lay out with the pictures because 
there was not a place that I could lay it all out. At the time, the puppies, um, you know, were all over the place, and you didn't want to try to lay it. The living room's the biggest room I can lay it out in, um, and it takes up the whole floor. So I just couldn't lay it out in... So it was easier to take those pictures and print those pictures out. So yeah, that's what I did. Absolutely. So I love how it turned out too. That's probably that is probably the quilt that I'm the most proud of right now. Okay, ready for the next question? Next question. Next question. I know the answer to this and you do too. Am I a morning person or a night person? Night hooty who. Night person. I'm a night person. We're both night We're people. We're night people, both of us. Have to be a morning person by... Work schedules. Work schedule, though. But neither of us. Yeah. I mean, if we were left to our own accord, I'm much later than he is. Though. I wouldn't start creating anything until after 9 or 10 o'clock at night. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. If I'm down in the sewing room late at yeah. night, I'm like, ooh. I mean, creative juices flow. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So, I do think I create better later in the afternoon. Like, I just get into, you know... After three o'clock or something. Yeah. But man, before ten. I'm useless until I'm like, about ten o'clock or can't. eleven. <laughs> and I've even morning. had tea, so you'd think that would me out. I am no. like that guy in office space. Well, Bob, I sneak <laughs> in the back door, so I avoid Lumberg, and I get to my desk, and I just kind of space out for an hour. <laughs> I I'm not going to be able to answer this question, and You're I don't not. think you. I don't. I don't know. How many cousins do I have? A lot. Yeah. Well, you count second and third and twice removed. There's and 10 in my generation. Once begotten from the ones before. I think before there's 13 and... or 14 the generation below me. Yeah. And now there's how many in the generation below that? I mean, I've got. There's five or six in the generation <laughs> below that. You've got, but that's just my mom's side, like my dad's side. I don't I wasn't as close to, so I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I've got five. Total? Basically, yeah. Including your dad's side? Yeah. It's only oh. one on my dad's Mike side. Mike has five. I have five. I have got yeah, lots, so. lots and lots. Lots of cousins. Yeah. And, and I'm close to a lot of them, too. Like, like, we love, we really love getting, you have to admit, my family reunions are fun. Yeah, they are fun. They are great yeah. fun. And I just have funny cousins. My you family reunions on the Johnson side are fun. Yes, completely. Yeah. I totally believe that. Yes. On the we Reinhardt side, things. a little hit or miss. <laughs> but the the family reunions, mine are fun. So I, I was sad this year. I've lost all my aunts. So I'm sad. Yeah, the last really one tough. standing finally went yeah. home. She was 99. Yeah, almost Isn't made it to crazy? 100. 99. Yep, she died after her 99th birthday. Yeah. She... So, but yeah, kind of crazy. All right, let's have another question right. here. What do we got? If I could only eat one restaurant for the rest of my life, what would it be? One restaurant? One restaurant. Oh. I used to, I could have answered this question, but then the last time we went there, I was so disappointed in it. Yeah. So I think I have a different answer. I would say, I have to be a barbecue joint. A barbecue joint? Yeah. That's good. I would say Williamson Brothers. Williamson Brothers. Yeah. It's a local barbecue joint here in Atlanta. Only because they have, you know, more than just pulled pork sandwiches. Yeah, they have sloppy joes there. and steak. Yeah. And they're, you know, that may be lunch today. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, what do you that think? sounds good for what lunch. You, what do you think for me? Um, You just said you would be a barbecue place. No, I said you would be a barbecue place. Oh, that's... That's probably true. But I was going to say family tradition, which is our local diner. Yeah. Because we go there all the time we anyway. We do, yeah. So. I could do that. Or, you know what? I could probably do sushi. I I, I like sushi. sushi, but I don't love it like you do. I love it. I know he does. Love it. It's got too many carbs for me. Love Asian. So. Love Asian. Couldn't do it. Asian food's so. where it's at. All right. What's next? What's next? What is my nickname, and do I like or hate it? I call you Mikey, and I think you like it. I don't think you hate it. Well, Mikey likes it. Yeah, Mikey likes it. Just like the commercial. Yeah. You call me lots of different things. Yeah. Schmoopy. Lenny. <laughs> Leonard. Lenny. Hey, you. Woman. <laughs> Whatever it was. 
whatever word. She, whatever she responds to all of them. <laughs> they say it's the tone of voice that she's afraid of sometimes. <laughs> I'm not afraid of it. No. I just, you know. You will be. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. So, anyway. Okay. So, like, when I'm quilting, or, like, what's your favorite quilt that I did? My favorite quilt? Um, I think I know, but. I really like the Who Are You quilt. Oh, the Caterpillar? Yeah. Yeah. I it's like that one, neat. and I like, um, I like your Castle Wall quilt. Yeah. And... There's a snack quilt floating around out there somewhere that I might like. I'm not real sure. Oh, he's calling me Burn. out. Totally burned me there. All right, all right. I see that. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, shade. So a few years ago, years, it's been years, I gave him a quilt top and told him I'd quilt it for him. And it, um, I'd collected all these snack fabrics. <laughs> and so it's all these like, Chocolate covered pretzels and Doritos and yeah. hot dogs and oh, ham sandwiches stuff. and and so I made a quilt of it and I gave it to him as a top and I have not quilted it yet. Got to get on that. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. With the other, I don't know, okay, twenty so, plus quilts I need to. Quilt. So what's what's my favorite? What's your favorite guitar of mine? Claire. Claire. Mm -hmm. You like Claire? Yeah. The. Uh, Black body, blonde neck. Yeah. Yeah. Claire. 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 Yeah. <laughs> he names his guitars. Yeah, so I've got one named Claire. Mm -hmm. I have another one named Jen Erso. Another one named Trillion. <gasps> and then I have uh, another one that's yet to be named. Oh, we haven't named it yet? We haven't named it yet. Okay. But I'm going to let you paint it. I'm going to strip it down and Ooh. let you paint it. And then I have a bass. I want to do the four things on it. bass okay. guitar called Fat Amy. So. I, I bought, we need to go to Home Depot or someplace because I want to go get some buckets. Okay. I want Because I want to dye. I want to dye. I want to dye. I want to dye some fabric. Oh, okay. I was going to take that dyeing class and remember I got sick and I didn't oh, go. Right, yeah. And so I have all these t-shirts that I bought that I want to dye. And um, so I need to go get some buckets to mix up all the stuff. And we've got the perfect spot to yeah. dye stuff out here. So Yeah, I don't. So I, I may can't order tell some more stuff because um, once you have a bucket of dye, you want to dye a lot of things because you just don't want to dye one thing. That's just that's. Is there know. any way on here? So what's anyway. that? Oh, nice. So anyway, all right, ready? Yes, ready. One more. Um. Or two more. Is there a movie or TV show I often quote for or reference? No. We do this all the time, <laughs> so I don't think you can say one. No, there's lots. Yeah. You're like Mr. 80s, though. I am Mr. 80s, yes. He does all the Mr. 80s quotes, so we do that to each other. Yeah, Mr. 80s quotes. I In am fact, one P. One ping only, Vasily. Which is? And for Red October. Very good. There you go. I'm yeah. glad you knew. Um, I got the t-shirt. I do, yeah, I do like more um, Disney or Lord yeah, of the Rings. a lot of those. Lord yeah. of the Rings and The Hobbit. The Hobbit, I think, you know, okay, so I've said for a long time, Lord of the Rings is my favorite trilogies, but I, I think I like The Hobbit better. And this may be controversial. <laughs> I understand. I don't think so. I think I'm more of a Hobbit fan than I am Lord of the Rings fan. But I'm, no, they're both up but there. But he wrote The they're Hobbit first, right? Tolkien? Did he write The um, Hobbit first and then go back and did the I don't know the order he wrote in? them. I no. know the order that they should be seen. Well, no, I know that, but so anyway. We were actually there. We were. We got to go to New Zealand. My company sent me to New Zealand yeah, for a did. job Yeah. when I was, I did corporate training for a while, and my company sent me to New Zealand for a job, and I actually... Got to. What if we had a picture? I got to somewhere. fly him over, and so we spent a week. It is a long plane ride. Long, but plane ride. Long plane ride, and so we spent a week touring around the North Island of New Zealand, which we need to go back because I want to see the South Island. So, there you go. 
But yeah, we got to go there and we toured the um, Shrier where they filmed all the yeah. stuff with the Shrier. Although now they've turned it into an actual park. I know. When it, we were there, it was still it a legit... It was kind of legit, mud and hills and they It just was a legit farm with Some of the sheep, facade, yeah. With total sheep. And here's what I think is really interesting about it. So in the book... It describes the sheep as being black faced sheep with black hoofs. Yep. Black legs. English sheep. English sheep. It's a certain breed of sheep. And uh, but white wool. So it's white wool, black face, and black hoofs. And yeah. the farm, which New Zealand, their major exported product is sheep products. Like there's a lot of sheep farmers in New Zealand. There's more sheep than people in New Zealand. Right. So, um, even in the airport, when, you know, when you go to the airport and you get in the little little cars that they'll take you to the oh, gates yeah. or whatever, and they'll honk at you. In the Atlanta airport, they honk at you. In the New Zealand airport, it baws at you. It does. It's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, where? Like, when I was there, I was like, where? Is the they have sheep <laughs> in the airport? And I'm looking around, and this thing comes by, and he honks, bah, and it goes, bah, 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 and I was like. Okay, it's good to know. Yeah. So, um, but <laughs> what was it going with that? I don't know. Oh, so we were, oh, so in the book it talks about there is black faced sheep in the book and it describes them. So Peter Jackson was so true to the book that he imported black faced sheep onto this sheep farm that had hundreds of sheep on it, but they weren't black faced sheep. They yep. were the white face with white wool. And he and because in the book it talks about black face with black white wool sheep that breed I don't know the name of the breed but that breed he yeah. imported those and they had that in the movie so Attention there you go detail. but it was not when we were there they were all white face sheep and white wool yeah. yeah but they told us that story which I thought was pretty funny when we toured it so and we got to we got to look into the into Frodo's. Um, yeah, we, we stood in Bag End. We stood in Bag End. We, that was kind of we, cool. We, yeah, we have a picture of us, like, standing inside, and they took it from the inside so you can see the tree, the party tree where yeah. he disappears and stuff. So, anyway. It's pretty cool. It's cool. It yeah. is. So. Another question? One more question? One more question. One more question. Pick a good one. Okay. All right. If I had to live in a very cold place or a very hot place, which would I choose? You would choose somewhere equidistant in between the two. Yes, more hot than cold. Yeah. Like I don't want to. I don't want to shovel snow. No. I would move to Florida. Yeah. He would live in Alaska. No, I wouldn't live in Alaska. Yeah, he would. No, he I would wouldn't. Totally live in. Alaska. I would totally not live in Alaska. Where Where are you going to live? Um. I'm not moving up to like cold places. I don't know. I told him when we moved down here, we had to stay within four hours driving distance of Knoxville. <laughs> I'd move back to Knoxville. I would, too. Yeah. I love Knoxville. So, anyway. We I love don't Tennessee, know. but we love Georgia. I mean, I feel like I'm a Georgian, We're even though I wasn't born here. House on the beach, I would definitely do that. So, he's from Tennessee, and I'm from Kentucky. Yep. Southerners. Yeah. There you go, y'all. That's what y'all we do. Come by it honestly, don't we, <laughs> honey? Yeah. E. Yes. All right. <laughs> All right. So we didn't have very many questions, but next, when we do this again, um, maybe we'll give you more. Yeah, we'll give you a little more heads up. Heads we'll up, try to have a, our YouTube game going, too. Yeah, uh, we so couldn't go we'll, live on YouTube. Yeah, that we was, couldn't go live on YouTube that was a for downer, some reason. So. And um, give and you a little, little more notice ahead of time. Yeah. Next time we do something. Of course, Lynn's going to be going live, probably doing lots of stuff. I Well, I want to do some stitching, so yeah, yeah we'll do that. Um, Absolutely. So now you probably need to take me to Williamson Brothers for lunch. Oh, do I now? Well, I there's think a new place so. that just opened up. Oh, that's right. We'll have to go try that. That's right. I so, love good anyway. barbecue. Yeah, well, that's one reason I can't live up north. They don't have good barbecue. <laughs> We've enjoyed it, ladies. Thank you very and much. And dudes, whoever's watching. And uh, we'll see y'all next time. Bye. Y'all have a great weekend. Now, where do I turn this thing off at? Oh, right there. <laughs>